Terry, mm -hmm. would you like a love apple? I would. What is that? That's another name for a <laughs> uh, tomato. I, I figured as much. Yeah. I, I was hoping that's what it was. You got your big boy, your big girl. You got your grape, cherry, plum. Roma. Uh, Roma. Uh, tomatoes on the vine. You know, New Jersey's famous for their great tomatoes. I know. They have they're, fantastic tomatoes. Hey, are you, uh, are you holding any love apples out there, Sue? I know you're not in New Jersey, but... I got future love apples here in Media, Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is a tomato plant. And you know what? Uh, it is it is cheap and it is healthy to grow your own food and almost everybody's doing it. Some of us haven't gotten our garden started yet. So we came out here to our friends at Lynn Villa in Media and you know what? This is a spot where we've never been before. We've been, I thought, everywhere around Lynn Villa. But look at this. It is gorgeous out here. Just expanses of farmlands. Now Farmer Norm, you saw him briefly. How many acres is, uh, do you have all told here? Uh, the property is 300 acres and this is uh, 40 acres back here so it's literally the back 40. This is, so we're plowing the back 40, literally. We've got the truck going there. Now, we've got this plastic stuff down here, and you were explaining to me how this is a way that you can plant and not have weeds? Yeah, you can plant right through the plastic. There's a little irrigation hose underneath, so that way you use less water, uh -huh. and then you don't have any of that annoying weeding to deal with. This is wonderful news because even though you're doing it professionally here and, and this is a huge farm, we can sort of do this at, in our own gardens as well. We can get plastic at the garden center? Yeah, they sell uh, the weed excluding mulch at the garden centers. They sell the uh, soaker hoses. So it's all available at most garden centers. Well, what I wanted to know, here we are, it's now the middle of June. I didn't get any seeds started. I didn't plant anything yet. Can I still plant stuff and have good stuff to eat for the summer? Uh, this is actually the ideal time for planting any of your cucurbits, especially pumpkins. My what? Cucurbits. What's a cucurbit? It's just a, uh, like a class. Cucumber family? Correct. Okay, class of vegetables. And all it right. goes with all your squashes, all right, your so pumpkins. We got, oh, we can make, we can still plant pumpkins. You, you don't want to plant right. them any sooner than June 1st anyhow. Otherwise, your pumpkins will be ready too soon. Your winter squash, oh, your summer fun. squash, okay, your yellow. These are fun. Oh, there's a cucumber. Cucumbers. Okay. Um, you can plant any of your lettuces. Even all your, right. your cold weather crops, you would think you have to plant them in February. It's yeah. also ideal to plant them now, and then they'll, they'll ripen during the cool weather in the fall. Oh, this is very um, encouraging. What else we got? Red beets. Red beets. The beans are ideal. Just they like warm saw weather. I string beans. Yay. Oh, 60 days. All right. Carrots. Carrots um, chard. You can also do melons. Melons is perfect right now. And okay. uh, radishes are great at any garden because they're the quickest crop, and so it's something where your kid can see a quick response to planting it. Or you could buy a plant that's already started. And you brought some of these out here with us. So we showed the tomato plant already. Give me some advice on how to pick a good one. Right. Transplants are definitely easy. The nice thing about this time of year, you might find the plants cheaper just because there's, they've been around the garden here. center for yeah. a while. But a tomato plant, you can put it deep in the ground and it, it'll send out roots no matter how deep the now dirt is on the plant. this one looks good, but even if a tomato looks a little peaked, you can kind of bring it back? You can bring it back. You stick a tomato plant in the ground, they just don't like to be root bound like this. Once okay. you get it in the ground, it'll take off. Now, I don't know what any of this stuff is just from looking at it, but I know you do. What do we got here? You can also plant pepper plants, eggplant. I mean, these are too late to start from seed, but it's ideal to put them in from transplant. And then you'll have the biggest fruit, the nicest fruit, September, October, when most people's gardens are starting to wind down, you can show some real quality product late. And one last thing before we wind down, because they're winding us up. Even if you don't have a yard or one patch of ground to dig, you can still plant something on your porch. Yeah, these are real popular now. They're called patio tomatoes. You just have to make sure that you have the right variety, a patio type variety. Or you can take these and put them in one of those upside down topsy turvies. They work. And they work also. So there you go. Uh, all kinds of great advice. Even if you haven't started anything, you can grow your own. You can pick your own here at Lynn Villa. They've got a big festival this weekend, the Raspberry Festival. We'll talk about that next hour. And good advice if you're going to get in the tractor and go pick your own. It's really and fun Sue, for the kids. And uh, yes. Carrie and Sally Ann say your friend there, your, the guy at Lynn Villa, is quite cute. He's quite the tomato himself. <laughs> well, listen, I know how to pick them. I get it. So to speak. <laughs> Hey, by the way, the age-old yes. uh, discussion, is a tomato a vegetable or a fruit? Is a tomato a vegetable or a fruit, Farmer Norm? It's technically a fruit. <laughs> Thank you. This fruit. is the man who knows. He's he the does. farmer. He knows. Mm -hmm. It's a fruit. Mm. You're welcome. All right. Thank you very much. It is eight. <laughs> Hot farmer. <laughs> yes. 843.